Hi guys, and welcome to another Hero of the Week. Now this week's hero is Kay Burley from Sky News. She's a wonderful interviewer and she has a knack of getting politicians to paint themselves into a corner and make themselves look like fools. This is exactly what she did with Government Minister Chris Phillip, who was attempting backflips and somersaults to avoid admitting the connection between Boris Johnson's comments in Parliament and the mob that threatened Keir Starmer and David Lammy outside the House of Commons on Monday. Well done, Kay. So just to clarify, the Mayor of London, the leader of um, the Scottish Nationals, the leader of the Liberal Democrats, a very senior Conservative who used to be a minister uh, and a chief whip, and the uh, chairman of the Defence Select Committee are all wrong. Yeah, I just don't think you can you can say that the comments the Prime Minister made about Keir Starmer's record as DPP or the, or the Crown Prosecution Service's record can, can reasonably be said to have prompted the terrible harassment and intimidation that we just saw. People get, had their record criticised the whole time. Right? People criticised the Prime Minister's record the whole time. Politicians get criticised. But there's a difference between criticising Boris Johnson's record and what Boris Johnson did. Boris Johnson facilitated a lie, a right-wing lie. Now, he was lying to... Or he, was, he was saying this in order to channel... A certain group of people. This was not a lie for the general public. This was specific, specifically for a small section of society, a, a group of people who still believe this is true. And Boris Johnson, in a sense, was reaching out to those people. Now, allegedly, he was told by his uh, advisors not to go down this road because it seems most of the things that happen in the House of Commons are prepared. The, the aides give their uh, advice and say you should say this you shouldn't say that and allegedly Boris Johnson was advised against doing this and he went that way anyway as the whole time and you don't sort of say well that justifies uh, a mob surrounding the politician in the way that we just saw oh I'm not that's not what I'm saying to you what I'm saying to you is are all of these people that I've quoted to you who feel so strongly about it that they actually put it into writing on Twitter last night are they all wrong yeah look I, as I said I don't think you can make a link reasonably so between wrong. what the Prime Minister said and the harassment and intimidation. This group of people there were talking about a number of things beyond as well as Jimmy Savile. They're people who have harassed other public figures, including journalists, over the last uh, year or two. And um, so I don't think you can make that link. And when it came to the journalists and when it came to other people that they were harassing, did they mention Jimmy Savile then? Well, they mentioned all kinds of things, they as they did last Jimmy night. Savile, then? Well, no, because that wasn't an issue at the time. But, they, exactly. but, yeah, the, but the harassment... Exactly. But the, hang on, Kate, the harassment... <laughs> so there you go. Because it wasn't an issue at the time. So it became an issue because Boris Johnson introduced it as an issue. He said it here himself. It wasn't an issue at the time. It was introduced by Boris Johnson. And that was the whole point. It, so the entire interview here, he's trying to say, no, it's nothing to do with Boris Johnson. And he's admitted himself, yes, it was because of Boris Johnson. Well, he didn't say Boris Johnson specifically, but it was introduced. So they weren't talking about it. And now they are talking about it. And something happened between when they were not talking about it and when they are talking about it. And what happened? Boris Johnson criticised Keir Starmer and reached out for a right-wing trope in order to do so. You know, it's very simple. For Johnson to return to Parliament and apologise, or at least correct the record. doesn't even have to apologise. Obviously, he, he doesn't care about apologising. That's been clear for a long time. But to correct the record, to say it was a mistake. But he's not doing that. He's yet to do that. Why is that the case? But it's good that there are journalists who will call this out, and Kay Burley is one of them. See you next time for our next Hero of the Week.